When it finally sunk in that I was turning 40, I had a variety of reactions. I told you, I don't want to be 40! I don't look 40, do I? Why, God? But then I thought, hey, how bad could it be? The alternative is much worse. So I decided to make a list of 40 different things to do because I was entering my 40s. And thus, 40 for 40. Hey everyone, uh, it's 40 for 40 time again. Um, unfortunately, this pandemic has really put a damper on my 40 for 40 stuff, so. Hmm. But today I am going to face one of my fears. 40 for 40 is all about doing things you've never done before and facing your fears. Yes, I know some people are scared of flying. Some people are, have a fear of death. I have a fear of the jackfruit. <laughs> so freaky. kind of looks like it's going to come to life and talk to me. And it also looks like just, I ugh, can't do it. Today I'm going out. I'm going to attempt to buy a jackfruit. I don't even want to touch it. And I'm going to attempt to eat a jackfruit. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm here at the 99 Ranch Market. And it's all boarded up. Which doesn't really give me a whole lot of confidence, but they're open. So uh, I'm here to get the jackfruit, so let's do this. Okay, so I just walked in and this whole place smells like fish. Sorry guys, you can do something to dinner. And now I know why this place smells like fish. Okay. Oh no, I see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's spiky. I'm gonna get the smaller one because how much jackfruit can one girl enjoy? Haha. <laughs> that is one big ass fruit. Oh, so sad and scary. So not attractive. We interrupt this regularly scheduled podcast to inform our viewers that there is an impossible beauty standard set for all exotic fruit. The views and opinions expressed by Charlotte Reese do not reflect those at 40 for 40. Now back to your scheduled programming. Does it taste good though? Yeah. Really? What does it taste like? Sweet. Sweet? Because it looks scary. I'm pretty no, frightened no, no, no. by that. I shouldn't be frightened. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay, so I finished buying my jackfruit. And I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go uh, spread this fun. Can't just keep all the jackfruit for myself. No. I know some other people who would really like to try the jackfruit too. <laughs> or at least they're going to have to because I'm gonna make them and it's gonna be funny. Jack, are you ready? He looks ready. He's got a seatbelt on and he is good to go. Okay, so I have my jackfruit here. I'm at my cousin's house and I'm gonna make her eat it and I'm gonna make her son eat it and maybe her husband too. <laughs> I'm gonna take these people down with me, okay? If I have to try it, so does somebody else. Hey, hey I have a present for you. Oh, great. <laughs> Touch it. Thank, thank you. <laughs> you like it, don't you? Yeah. Smell it. I can, I can already smell it. <laughs> it's actually hurting my hand. Look at my hand. Seriously, my hand is like all bumpy now and prickly or whatever. Anyway, here, I'm gonna give this Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you. And we are gonna do this outside in the right. back. Here we go. Okay, so I'm here. I'm about ready to cut it in just a few minutes. Um, I've gotten over the fact that I didn't want to touch it. Now I can touch it. I'm still not sure if I want to eat it because it still kind of creeps me out. I still have a feeling I'm gonna flip out a little bit when I see the inside because the inside is so gross looking. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to face my fears, okay? There you go. It's dripping some kind of weird goop from like this stem thing. And every time I touch the stem, it's all gunky and goopy. So I don't know. We just jump right to step two, cut the fruit into halves. Okay. Plural, step three, apply oil on hands and knife. What? <laughs> 
The inside of fruit still contains a lot of sticky sap. Apply lightly any cooking oil on your hands and the knife. You need to do this frequently to prevent sap from sticking to your hands and on the knife. That's so gross. I can't even tell you. Do you have oil? Please yeah, tell me you do. have oil. <laughs> Why are you so scary? <laughs> Why are you so creepy? You make the pineapple look small. It's like the size of a baby. I'm pretty sure it's definitely gonna be my one and only time buying a jackfruit. Okay, let's see. I don't know, we've got like 50 different knives here. I kind of feel like the serrated would be good, but I kind of want to start with this one because it's just fun to wield a big knife. <laughs> this ain't no watermelon, people. <laughs> There's a fire. Oh, it's so gross, it's so gross. <laughs> look what's happening. Ew! Oh wait, I didn't oil up. Oh shoot. Okay. No! <laughs> Stay. Oh god. What's disturbing is that it's like a creamy sauce. Okay. <laughs> Can you not say creamy sauce? That's disgusting. Well, it's it true. Gets stop. <laughs> and it's texture. No! That's like I, using, that's like like the truth. using the word moist. You can't, it's no. just, no. It's like gross. No. You can't use that word. Creamy sauce? Ah! Oh, we are never gonna get, wait, oh, ha, 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 I did it. <laughs> Along the bulbs. This looks <laughs> creeping me out is. right now. Oh, 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 it's so gross. <laughs> Fruit pieces? Oh God, what to do with the remains? <laughs> oh, gross. You know, it's kind of not good. good. Wait, it smells kind of good to me. It's like strawberries, but it's not good. It's not that strawberries? good. Strawberries? But... What kind of strawberries have you been eating, kid? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that nasty? That's like the extra stuff. I think it'll look at that creamy. Ew! Stop. Wait, Stop. it looks more like fried egg to me. <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are both gross. <laughs> this is the seed. This is creeping me out. This is like a giant nut. Looks like a kidney. It kind of looks like a big old lima bean or something. Ugh. Oh. This is supposed to taste like if you prepare it, it can taste like a meat substitute. So that's why all the vegetarians and vegans like this stuff. But I'm like, if you're so hot on being a vegetarian and a vegan and you don't need meat, then why do you need a meat substitute? Hmm. Oh my. It's like hard as a, <laughs> I mean, is oh, this, God. oh my gosh, there's still pieces. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh, it kind of stinks too. All right, all right, okay. I'm gonna be big girl. You can do it. It's actually pretty good. Try it. It's not bad. I'm telling you. It's actually kind of good. It's like leather so far. No, you have to bite in and actually chew. Not my favorite fruit, but not the worst thing I've ever tasted. But I mean, it's it's sweet. It does kind of taste like a banana and a pineapple had a child. Okay, so this is Matthew. Hello. He's my godson. And I'm going to make him eat this too. What do you think? It tastes like you took like french fries and made them sweet. That's what it tastes like. It's oh. okay, but it tastes like french fries to me. Interesting. So. <laughs> Not my favorite. He's telling the truth though. It does taste like a banana and a pineapple. Okay, so I have officially conquered my jackfruit fear. It wasn't bad. I mean, it was okay. Oh, oh, it's so gross. It's so gross. This is creeping me out right now. I will never ever buy this again because this is way too much work for fruit. I mean, hello, an apple. To hell with cutting this thing up. Subscribe to 40 for 40. I mean, I know you like that crazy stuff that Charlotte did. 
Matthew, want some jackfruit? Not really. <laughs> yes, you do. Eat the jackfruit. <laughs>